welcome to the week ahead for week 32, 8 to 12 of August 2022. As always, we start with the economic news calendar. We will leave it here for a few seconds so you can take screenshots or take notes in your journal so you know where and when to expect volatility. Please do take note of the CPI report coming out on Wednesday, the 10th of August. Moving on, our relative strength perspective does not show anything more than what we will see later in the dollar index, namely that this will probably be a consolidation week and we have nothing here to imply strong moves either way and we will have that probably until that CPI report comes out on Wednesday. On the dollar index we are at weekly resistance levels. The trend is bullish. However, market never move in a straight smooth line. So resistance levels like the ones highlighted in blue here offer the market an opportunity to breathe and to reload. We take note of these areas. We can expect sideways movements with new impulses up to come from big New, to come from, uh, excuse me, big news events like FOMC or last Friday's NFP, which did bring much anticipated volatility. And we will see that later in the daily graph. Looking at the dollar index daily, we continue to have a bullish bias. Trends like these do not change overnight. It will take one, two, three or more weeks to change, uh, typically. Macro traders will see the last week NFP data as supporting more upside for the dollar. Now we need to look at the technicals, uh, to, however, to confirm that bullish bias as markets, again, seldom move in straight lines. Currently the dollar is stuck between support and resistance on a daily level as well. So we are open to a consolidation week until the CPI event on Wednesday, as mentioned earlier. Until then, we could be looking at trading the range on the dollar index from the highs of uh, 106.80, let me bring them up, 106.80 to the lows of 105.60s. <clears throat> if clean setups materialize, we will trade these in correlated instruments to the dollar index. Uh, now, the dollar has significant, uh, significant layered daily resistance ahead. So the first step for the dollar index to see a clean resumption of the bullish trend is to break above the last high, the 27th, the last swing high on the, of the 27th of July at 107.43. Let me bring that up. 107.43, there it is, 107.43. And it needs to break above that with conviction and momentum. From there, we will need to see how the price reacts to those level. After all, we are in the midst of summer and uh, the summer doldrums is a thing in, in these markets. <clears throat> Moving on. Um, a break. This is where we would like to see price uh, to moving to above that 107.42 to consider 107.43 to consider nice uh, swing trade, uh, bullish trade. Until then, it will be intraday. So since there is layered resistance above uh, where price is now, this means that the dollar will likely consolidate or could even drop. So we need to be open to this eventuality for the dollar to drop. Should the dollar index drop below last Thursday uh, low at 105.67, price may be tempted to drop further down potentially to the 103s, which coincidentally would create a measured move pattern traders may see an AB equals CD here. Moving on to dollar CAD. If the dollar index indeed drops or weakens, even if it is to uh, from the high that we have seen to the low in that range, this could give room to the dollar, uh, dollar CAD to drop. Uh, we continue to see, like last week, we continue to see fund inflows into the Canadian dollar. So uh, if that continues, we could be targeting these two lows, these two levels uh, that are marked on the chart, 127.10s, uh, 127.20, let's call it 127.20 to the 126.50. Uh, 
Moving on to another market where we saw influx of funds last week, the, uh, oil. So following up, we would like to see either a drop to 84.50s to evaluate a long swing setup here, or a break above the 108, uh, sorry, 101.88 to consider. Please note the word consider long setups around the 101.88, looking for retracement down to buy into after the breakup of the 101.88. Moving on to indices. In the indices space, we see strength into the week, uh, NASDAQ being slightly stronger among them and the Dow being slightly weaker. Uh, the CPI announcement on Wednesday is a very important one for the indices. If the CPI comes in strong, then the indices will be impacted negatively. So higher inflation, that means the market will anticipate the Fed to come in with uh, rate hikes or more aggressive rate hikes. If, on the other hand, the CPI print is lukewarm or lower than expected, then the indices will rally and we certainly want to be in those moves. All for now, good luck and good trading.